The next drill we're going to do is now we're going to start focusing on the top hand and the bottom hand part of our swing. We really want to make sure we strengthen up our forearms, our wrists, and our hands by doing this drill. What we're going to have to do is Nikki's going to get in her stance and see how she's choked up. Remember, choke up just a little bit more. Choke up as far as you can with your top hand. Her left hand's reaching around to her other side, grabbing onto to her shirt or her jacket on the other side. You want to keep that in there tight because if it gets too far out, it keeps everything open and you're going to fly things out. And you don't want to keep do that because you want to make sure everything's nice, short, and compact. So she has her left hand right here on the side. Get her right hand in motion. She's going to bring her hands down and throw them inside the ball and snap her wrist and hit the ball into the net. Really focusing on strengthening up her forearms, her hands, and her wrists. There you go. Just like that. Really throw the hands through. You really want to make sure that top hand is strong. It's going to help help control the bat. You really make sure if you're going to pop the ball up a lot or if you're going to drive your hands down on the ball. This is really something you want to strengthen quite a bit as a top hand part of your swing. Good job. We'll do one more. Good. Now, usually we do about a bucket of those. We'll have our players rotate to the next bucket. And you can vary. And you really want to make sure you do this exercise every day when you're hitting to really focus on strengthening those parts of your swing. Next part we're going to do is now she's going to switch from her top hand to her bottom hand. She's going to take her right hand. She's going to grip around to that side, grab a piece of clothing there. Make sure you show up all the way to the top part of the bat because you want to control the bat as much as possible. The top, the top hand part is probably going to be a little bit easier than the bottom hand. The bottom hand might take a while to get controlled. And don't get frustrated, but you really have to keep on focusing on it and concentrate to get that bottom hand to drive through the ball. Now with the top hand, she's grabbing out of the side and throw those hands through the ball. Always make sure you keep your hands inside the ball and throw them inside and drive through the ball. Good. Right now we're not so much focused on our hips or, as much as we are just throwing our hands through the ball. Good job. Keep on throwing them in there. Hitting the ball down. Just keep on driving the ball down. Good job. We'll do one more. Very good. You really want to stay focused and you saw how she kept her hand here the whole time. If it just comes off a little bit, it's easy to do at times because you start losing focus of this hand. Really grab onto that side, come down, and drive the hands through to the top hand. And now we do the bottom hand, grab the side, and really drop, drive that hand through as hard as you possibly can. Now we're going to start putting our swing together and have more swings off the tee. We're going to work on the regular, hitting just the ball off the tee, just regular here. What Megan's going to focus on, though, when she's hitting off the tee regularly, is she's going to look straight ahead, visualize the pitchers there, focus straight ahead as she makes contact her head's going to come down and hit the ball every time off the tee. We don't want to just stare at the tee the whole time because we're not going to have our head down that direction when the ball's coming in from the pitcher. So we want to just look straight ahead, focus, and hit the ball off the tee. So just start nice and controlled. Start off easy if you're putting things together still. Just look straight ahead and then hit the ball off the tee. Very good. Just nice and easy there. Good job. Notice how she looks straight ahead at the pitcher as right before she swings, she brings her head down, makes contact. Good job, we'll do a couple more here. One thing of this, when you're watching this now as a coach, you want to make sure they're doing everything right, correctly, make sure they're getting their hips turned, make sure they're firm front leg when they're making contact, and they're driving their hands inside the ball. Good job, do one more, and we'll have you stay in your, in your follow through. So if you stay in her follow through now, now she's balanced. She drove her back hip through, her knees going right towards the pitcher. Her front leg is firm. Notice how she's got the V in her arms. Everything's nice and compact here. If I pushed her in any direction, she's going to stay pretty balanced. So she's got a really nice balanced swing here. Make sure you stay controlled. But by doing this on the tee, it's going to give you that feedback as a player and as a coach when you're working on these tees. It's very good for fundamentals and concentrating on your mechanics. One thing with a drill when you're doing regular tees is you can use a mirror to give good feedback for the players. If we take a mirror and we have it, we can make sure that we have that mirror giving that immediate feedback to the players. They can focus on their, their swing just as much as the coach at that time. So we're using the mirror. Now this will give immediate feedback to our players and she can look and see herself after each time she swings of what she's doing. So go ahead, Megan. She'll swing. She'll look and she'll kind of look in the mirror and she can kind of see herself that way. So we'll look straight ahead at the pitcher. She'll swing. And she can get that immediate feedback where she's doing everything correctly with her legs. We talked about with her firm front leg and her back leg being in L position. Let's do a couple more. 
as long as your players know, and we talked about earlier, I believe, was the fact of knowing yourself as a, as a hitter, probably more than your coach is going to know you. As a hitter, you want to make sure you know your swing. Go ahead and swing, Megan. You want to make sure that you know the proper mechanics of swinging and what's the correct or incorrect way of doing it. That way, if you're swinging at home, if you have a mirror in front of you at practice, you can always focus on those things and know what you're looking for on your swing. Let's just do one more. Very good. So the mirror is something we use quite a bit in practice. It's something that's very, I feel is very important for your swing. Make sure your players know what to do correctly and what's incorrectly on their swings. Point those things out to them. That way when you're using the mirror, you can go have them take a look at themselves in the mirror and make sure that they know what they're looking at in their swing.